President Trump's eldest son is at the center of the latest revelation about a previously undisclosed meeting with a Russian attorney. Over the weekend, Donald Trump Jr. offered an initial explanation for the meeting, then later added more details. Mola Lenge has the very latest from the White House. A June 2016 meeting at Trump Tower with Donald Trump Jr., former Trump campaign manager Paul Manafort, the president's son-in-law, Jared Kushner, and Russian lawyer Natalia Veselnitskaya, who has possible ties to the Kremlin, has the White House on the defensive. I would certainly say Don Jr. did not collude with anybody to influence the election. Again, I think I've been very clear. Our position is that no one within the Trump campaign colluded. Donald Trump Jr. said in a statement an acquaintance asked him to meet with the woman who claimed she had information that individuals connected to Russia were funding the Democratic National Committee and supporting Ms. Clinton. Donald Trump Jr. said it quickly became clear she had no meaningful information and the conversation switched to talk about Russian adoptions. Lawmakers and special counsel Robert Mueller continue to investigate whether any of the president's associates colluded with Moscow during the 2016 presidential election. Trump Jr.'s initial account of the meeting made no mention of Hillary Clinton, but he tweeted today, no inconsistency in statements. Meeting ended up being primarily about adoptions. There was no collusion that happened in this meeting, but the fact that they were willing to do the meeting suggests to me that a, a willingness to collude, um, and that's what Bob Mueller is going to have to dig into. The White House says Mr. Trump was not aware of the meeting. Mola Lenghi for CBS News, the White House. President Trump confronted Russian President Vladimir Putin about election meddling during their meeting last week. Rather than to say whether he accepts Putin's denials about interfering, the president is emphasizing working constructively with Russia in the future.